You know what? There's only one person to talk to sports about Fez. Guy Geyerson. You love talking sports. He loves talking sports. It's the Sports Editorial with Guy Geyerson. Play ball! Guy Garrison's my name. Talking sports is my game. Let's get started. Played poker the other night with my good buddies Brent Musburger and Alex Harris, and we decided that Sunday Silence was without question the greatest thoroughbred in horse racing history. Faster than a locomotive fueled by the adrenaline of a rabbit, Sunday Silence was simply the best ever. And my good pals Brent Musburger and Alex Harris agree, so I think we can finally close the book on that one. Talking the sports. Why the heck are there no more new episodes for The White Shadow? Timeless lessons of life, love, and layups. Taught by the masterful Coach Reeves, played ably by the great Ken Howard and his pupils. Inner city up-and-comers struggling just to survive on the hard courts of adolescence. I don't like to admit this, but Guy Garrison has only two things he's ever cried over. When Phil Necro was finally inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame and The White Shadow Christmas episode. Sometime soon. I hope TV execs screw their heads on straight, pick up the phone, call Kenny Howard, and get some new White Shadow episodes back on the airwaves. Where we talk here, what we talk to sports. Now for a Frederick's Pretzels downtown scoreboard update, where we look at scores from your neck of the woods. <laughs> If you want a pretzel both fair and handsome that'll nearly take your breath away, buy Frederick's Pretzels. We had the Mudtown Flapjackets buttoning down the squatting T-Bird 6-2 behind the nine stolen bases of Carlos Fuzz. The Delcroix Cracker Jacks toyed with the Chilchita Interlopers 8-1. Dickie Flinch scored five runs in that one. It was the Blackbirds of Baconville cutting the fat off the St. Latitude Thundernauts, 14 to 6 behind the three home run performance of Larry Bone. And the Dallop River Checker Sharks ate up the Nippington County Plums by the score of 7 to 3 with Terrence Terrence Jr. picking up the win in that one. And that's your Frederick Spretzel's downtown scoreboard update. Erasers and chalk help me with the sports and the talk. Time now for a Tim's Tables sponsored Tim's Tables live read. When you're looking for the best in state of the art, look no further than Tim's Tables on Route 45. For over six years, Tim's Tables have been giving people great choices of wooden, metal, and wooden tables at low, low prices. With their no wobble guarantee, how can you go wrong? So, if you want a piece of furniture to put stuff on, go to Tim's Tables for the table in you. The table in you. Enough of the business boogity. Let's get back to the sportsness talkity. It's time for the Guy Garrison AAA Achieving Achievers Award. This week, Willie Wilson, born through complications in Montgomery, Alabama, circa July 9, 1955. That little baby named Willie would grow up to hit 13 inside the park home runs the most of any big leaguer since 1950 take that vince coleman at the guy garrison triple a achieving achievers award for number six willie wilson with what he's been through we can safely say that willie stands for willie power or willpower either way slay the dragon and talk the sports and that's the sports editorial for this week this is guy garrison saying remember to keep the ball between the lines is how you play the game Stay tuned for next week where we talk about Mr. Sportsmanship, Dennis Rodman, Patience Personified, Lou Pinella, and the ever-graceful Bill Romanowski. Talk in the fall. Whoa, Guy Gyerson is back. Bundle of energy, this Guy Gyerson. Good stuff. A lot of the people he talks about, though, seem to have uh, two first names. Goes on and on. Good job, Guy. And that's the final...